eyes of the world have been glued to the city of Haran for the past two months, following the outbreak of a previously unknown pathogen. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. The local government's Ministry of Defense erected a quarantine wall shortly after the outbreak. The global relief effort's steady stream of supply drops has sustained what few survivors remain in the city. The Ministry of Defense believes more radical action should be taken to stem the tide of this virus. The question is, are there still non-infected survivors in the city as the GRE maintains? And if so, will the Ministry still go through with a stated plan to annihilate the city in an attempt to wipe out the Haran virus once and for all? Whether by way of the virus or the Ministry's proposed plan, one thing is certain. Haran's days are numbered. Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. Irreversibly. <laughs>